Alrighty, everybody. Who's up for a new arc on the channel? Never in a million years would I have ever expected myself to do such content on the channel, but here we are. What is that content, you may be wondering? Well, I'm coming out with the story time. I know tragic. Also, this will kind of serve as an explanation as to why I've only been like uploading Friday Night Funk and stuff rather than, you know, actual content. So hopefully this will explain a thing or two as well. To start this all off, let's just say it involves my college. Yeah, we're in for a juicy one today, fellas. Now that you guys have the most extremely basic idea on where this is headed, without further ado, let's get started with the story. So for those of you who don't know, I went to an art college. Yes, I went to an art college. I'm a filthy art student. I'm a filthy animation major. Da -da -da -da. Actually, I don't go there anymore, which is one of the main reasons why I'm talking about this in the first place. But yeah, to set the stage, I went to an art school and this has been my junior year. So this is actually fairly recent. If I actually stayed in college, I would have been a senior. So hopefully that paints the picture a little bit for you. But yeah, basically this story takes from last year of October to this year toward the end of May. Like I said earlier, the major that I went to was the animation and game art major. And there was a lot of people within that major. We were the second biggest major. The majority of the people there were super cool and they were all really nice. And I still talk to a good amount of them to this day. Except there was this one guy that everyone kind of like universally was weirded out by. We'll call him Jay. But yeah, there was a lot of things about Jay that people knew about that weren't really good things like at all. Like things that if I were to say in a video, I'd instantly get demonetized. So I can't really, you know, say anything. Except for just think creep weirdo, really. All I really can say is, is that he tried to hit on a few AFAB plus size people. And it went really badly. And considering that he has a public, private, private perversions folder on his DEA page, I think you can put two and two together. That aside though, it gets better. Because this guy also is a serial habitual tracer. I don't know if you guys know, but after being on DeviantArt for so goddamn long, I can sniff that shit from a mile away. And I'm not talking tracing a pose and crediting, no. I'm talking about like art theft tracing. And I could immediately tell after looking at his DeviantArt, like my freshman year, that he was a tracer and that he's really like, questionable morally. Don't get me wrong though, there has been times where I've seen his art where it hasn't been traced at all and I don't even know how he got into art college in the first place with it. Like this man is going to be 22 soon and he draws like that and I can understand if he was drawing it with a mouse. Drawing with a mouse is hard. I did that for roughly half my art career. That shit takes a lot of time to master so I get it entirely but the school had tablets that you could rent out. Why didn't he just do that? It's not like you have to pay for it anyway. I've done it before. That shit's super easy. You just use your ID card and then boom, you got it for a little while until you have to return it. It's literally like returning a library book. That aside though, he was basically the major's open secret. All the students discussed him amongst ourselves, but the professors didn't really know what was going on until I had to speak up. But the story doesn't start with me doing that no-no. The story starts where he traced off of me. So on a Saturday morning in October, I had just woken up and I got this message from Jay. The message said something along the lines of, oh, this features your character, so I hope you like this. And the image that was sent along with it was a piece where it features mainly his recolor character and shows other artists or people that are friends or he looks up to and... All of it is stolen and traced. He also almost completely covers up my character Kofi. And seeing that, I was pissed. I didn't say anything because I knew if I did, I would have blown up on him and that's kind of the last thing I want to do. Like personally, it's not really in my nature to do that unless I absolutely have to. But yeah, among seeing this, I immediately went to my friends to rant about this to them because my art was stolen. At the time, I didn't realize it was traced and I thought it was straight up just stolen. So I told them, yo, this guy stole my art. He stole my fucking art, dude. And they fully agreed with me. He never sought out permission to use my character he never sought out permission to even trace my stuff. Even if he did, I would have said, no, don't trace my stuff, but go on ahead and use my character so long as you give credit. 
that's kind of how I've always functioned. Like, I don't mind if you use my characters for anything, like, at all. Just, just give credit where it's due, and I'm not gonna really have an issue. Again, so long as you don't trace or straight up, like, steal anything, I really don't care. I like to think I'm pretty lenient. But he didn't do that, which is what I have a problem with. Now, don't get me wrong, fan art and gift art, it's lovely. It's one thing to draw something for somebody else as a gift. It's another thing entirely to straight up steal slash trace something and then claim you did it, even if it's something that you're doing as a piece of gift art or fan art for somebody. When I saw that, I felt disrespected as an artist. I've been drawing since I was 10. Never have I ever would have expected that my art would be stolen slash traced at art college, dude! Like, oh my god! Ah, it's so wild to think about! But yeah, considering that that was over Discord messages and DMs, if anything, I just kind of figured, you know what, if I don't say anything about it, it'll probably just go away, it's a private issue, nothing bad will come of this if I don't make a big fuss about something that's private. And for a couple days, it was like that. For the rest of the weekend, we didn't really have much exchanges. Flash a little bit forward to that Monday, though, in the middle of class. We were given some studio time to work on our major projects, you know, because animation takes a while. And I'm sitting there in my space trying to get my shit done. And then Jay physically walks up to my desk and he asked me, hey, did you see my Discord message? And I sheepishly told him like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I did. Thing is, I didn't even want to talk about it. I didn't even want to think about it. So I came off a bit sheepish because of that. And along with that, I was hoping that he'd get the hint to, you know, stop talking about it. So he asked me, what are your thoughts on it? And I kept telling myself that if this were to happen, I'd tell him the truth, that I was hurt by the fact that he traced my work. And so I did. I looked at him and I went, I don't know, man, you traced my work. And let me tell you the look on his masked face when I said that. He looked like he was a hurt puppy the moment I mentioned it. And he sold down away back to his desk. And I got really scared. Personally, I was terrified that because I said that, he'd do something to me. He didn't, thankfully, I just want to say that. He did not do anything to me. But I got really worried that something like that would happen. Again, I want to say, thankfully, he didn't. But when I walked back to my dorm that day, I was in a pretty weird, sour mood. But after that, I just kind of thought, maybe this will be the end of it. And for a while, it was like that. Obviously, I'd gossip about it toward my friends and all, but I know that they wouldn't make this issue public unless I wanted it to be. And the thing is, I didn't. But that all changed in March of this year. I was chilling watching Law & Order SVU with one of my friends, and I get a text message from another friend of mine. It was through them that I found out that he uploaded that picture to his portfolio, which these portfolios, mind you, were to show off to professionals within the animation field. And from hearing that, I was pissed. We already talked about how I was uncomfortable with him tracing my work, and then he goes on his way to make this a public image within his portfolio? At that point, I felt extremely disrespected. Due to the fact that I had so much rage in my system because of this, I immediately went and emailed so many of the higher-ups within my college and told them about this. Again, trying to keep it professional. I didn't, you know, slander him or anything. I just told them what the deal was, sent as many images of proof that I could provide, and just told them, yo, I didn't give him permission to do this. I didn't give him permission to trace my stuff. He straight up plagiarized me. And I even said that I'm worried that he might do the same to other people too because he's, again, a serial plagiarizer. So yeah, I emailed the higher-ups in my college, and it took them a good few days to even acknowledge that they got the email. To be fair, I did send it pretty late at night, so chances are it probably got buried after a little bit. But then again, that's just me giving them benefit of the doubt here. After a couple days of the email being sent and getting absolutely no acknowledgements of it whatsoever, my professor, who's also the head of my major, pulls me aside, and he tells me, I got your email, by the way. And when I first got that, I was shaking. I was so terrified of what was about to happen next. Luckily, my professor was super understanding. He was like, yo, I'm really sorry that this happened to you. I'll make sure that this gets investigated right away. Me and the associate dean have been talking about this and what to do. You should go talk to him next. I did talk with the associate dean, and we did have a pretty good talk about it. I told the associate dean I didn't want him to be kicked out. I didn't want any bad things to happen. I just wanted to bring light to an issue and make sure it gets put to a stop immediately. And from that point on, we had a pretty good talk and he said, I'll keep you updated. And that gave me some hope. That gave me a hope that 
this will finally be put to an end and that he'll finally get called out for this thing that he's been doing for literal years. So after that, I decided to not press on it any further and I decided to wait for an update. Weeks pass and I get no updates. The only thing that I could consider an update is that he was kind of like publicly outed in the middle of class by one of our professors by mentioning copyright laws to him and Jay got really, really upset about that, but that was the only thing that I could really consider an update on the situation. After class, I decided it'd be a good idea to talk to my professor. It took a while of waiting though, and during that time of waiting, I was telling a few of the people why I was sitting there and waiting this long to begin with, and one of my fellow classmates even went up to me and said, I think I know who you're talking about because he did the exact same thing to me. And I sat there, I'm like, wait, what? He has done this to other people? Thing is, he didn't trace work off of this other person. He straight up plagiarized academic homework. He literally copy pasted academic homework off of people's things and only changed like a few words. He straight up stole paragraphs and sentences of people's homework and claimed it as his own. The only punishment he got for that was failing the class and that was it for plagiarism. With that fresh in my mind, I finally got to meet with my professor. I had asked him for any updates and he asked me, did you talk to the associate dean? The associate dean never told him that we met. I had to be the one that told him that. I was in shock. I had never really faced such unprofessionalism from a college nonetheless in my life. There's also a bunch of other things that I know about my school that I probably shouldn't, but that's a story for another day. That aside though, I felt crushed due to the fact that they never even handled it after we spoke. I never really thought that this situation would get to this point, but it did right in front of my eyes. This whole thing took a huge toll on my mental health and it's honestly one of the main reasons why I got kicked out. My mental health got so low that I couldn't pay much attention and I failed out. They didn't even tell me that till June, by the way. So at the end of May, I was just considering dropping it as a whole and just being like, I quit. I can't do this anymore. And I didn't know at the time that they were going to kick me out. So I was originally just going to suck it up and get a degree. Luckily for me though, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Months had passed and I didn't really talk about it that much after. Until I found out that is, that it was still up in his portfolio. I was so sick and tired of not being taken seriously as an artist that I took things in my own hands. I went to his DeviantArt page and I publicly called him out saying, you gonna trace me and other people again? And Jay being the person that he is said, I won't do it again, but I know that's a flat out lie. He then went to me on Discord saying, I'm sorry that I did this. I didn't mean for it to go public. If you didn't mean for it to go public, why did you post it to your portfolio? Food for thought. I even said that to him too. After a while of ignoring his messages and just not wanting to blow up on him again, I finally told him, if you didn't want it to be public in the first place, why did you put it in your portfolio to show off to professionals? I told the school and they didn't do jack shit about it. And the fact that he's managed to get away with it for so long is so infuriating. And I even like told them this too. And he just said, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'll take it down. Isn't it just in the Google Drive though? Bro. Your Google Drive was your portfolio. That's the thing. Your Google Drive may have been the only place where you put it, but that was your portfolio, my dude. He really tried to play dumb and was like, this isn't anywhere else but my Google Drive. This isn't anywhere else but my Google Drive. Your Google Drive was your portfolio. I saw the link in the spreadsheets, dude. And the situation's died down, luckily, and hopefully my story will, you know, shed some light on the fact that, uh, plagiarism happened in my art school and it happened to me. I honestly never thought I'd be saying that. Let this be a lesson to anybody else who ever gets plagiarized at a school. Try and be as professional as you can about it, but if they don't do anything, don't be afraid to speak out on the bullshit that's been going on. I will say though, maybe don't go down the harsh route that I went down, but definitely make sure that you want justice to be served. And that's it. That was my story. Um... It's the first time I've really done a story time, like, at all, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, please do tell me about that and if you want to hear more, because I have a lot of stories to share that I think would be quite interesting to see on the channel. <laughs> and with that being said, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. I do think that would be very, very lovely of you to do. And that's it. See ya.